How to Convert Strodes into Complete Streets by Urban Innovators. A strode is a street-road hybrid, the futon of transportation. Strodes serve neither community needs nor high speeds very well. Yet strodes are the backbone of American suburbs, and engineers worry that making them more walkable will cause too much congestion. When engineers and planners each wrestle for the upper hand, engineers usually win. At Urban Innovators, we have discovered new techniques for helping engineers and planners shake hands instead. Consider the tortoise and the hare. The hare can drive fast between signals, but the overall travel speed is slow due to a lot of red lights. Our new strategies result in more green lights, which allows the tortoise to win. We call this drive slower but travel faster. The key to win-win is found in three new design styles, collectively called placemaking alternative intersections, namely quadrant, U-turn, and one-way split intersections. First, consider the quadrant. Instead of turning left at the main intersection, reroute the lefts on a backway quadrant. You can then reclaim the space currently dedicated to double left turns. You can also relocate driveways to the backway, which makes it easy to have shared wall mixed use right at the sidewalk's edge. In this concept rendering, we lower the speed limit from 45 to 35, but amazingly, the average travel speed is faster than before due to less time wasted at red lights. Next, consider this U-turn design. To make a left, you first go through the intersection, then make a U-turn, then a right turn. This makes it possible to convert the former left turn lanes into planted medians with pedestrian refuge. The U-turns create a chicane that forces traffic to slow down. For safety, state DOTs often install raised medians to eliminate uncontrolled left turns at random driveways. Businesses hate this. By also installing these U-turns, both safety and business accessibility are greatly improved. While the placemaking aspects of these designs are expensive, the cheaper strode is actually more expensive. How is cheaper more expensive? Strodes degrade and repel people, causing a flight to the fringe by many businesses and residents. The result is hundreds of acres of new greenfield infrastructure, plus you must still maintain the seemingly cheap strode. These placemaking designs can support three to five times as much development as the strodes they replace. By attracting thousands of businesses and residents to existing infrastructure, it offsets the need for greenfield development. Thus, when people say, we can't afford to build this, you can explain that, in reality, we can't afford not to. One-way splits are the third placemaking design. Instead of a huge strode crossing another strode, divide one or both strodes into one-way streets. In this case, the new westbound street would go through a mall. Obviously, this will be infeasible until the mall owners decide they must replace the mall, which could be very soon. The before and after graphics reveal impressive potential. Compared to strodes, one-ways increase connectivity. Streets are narrow and easy for pedestrians to cross, and there are far fewer conflicts with pedestrians. Many urbanists believe one-way arterials are inherently faster than two-way arterials, and thus bad for walkability. This can be true when the two-way alternatives would have just one lane in each direction, making it impossible to pass slower drivers. But two-way strodes always have two, if not three, lanes in each direction and are thereby just as fast as strode-like one-ways. But it is actually far easier to get drivers to obey a slow speed limit on one-way streets. Why? Because one-ways are easy to synchronize. Synchronize to 25 miles per hour and drivers discover there is no advantage to going faster. Combine this with traffic calming design and two one-ways will be slower, safer, and more appealing to mixed uses than a two-way strode. Consider this site in San Marcos near San Diego designed by Calthorpe Associates. The four tiny intersections are very walkable, yet the system can still handle high traffic volumes. Had this instead defaulted to a single intersection of two significant arterials, it would have serious congestion and safety issues, and it would have been harder to support as much walkable development as has emerged. Urban Innovators is the best in the nation at spotting opportunities for activating walkable activity centers along strodes. Contact us and we'll give you free sketches of how to change your ugly strodes into wonderful complete streets. We also have many other cutting edge strategies for activating sustainable land uses. Visit us at urbaninnovators.com or innovativeintersections.org.